Right, so the video right before this, I gave you a little flash of something like that. Like that. So, uh, a couple weeks ago, my teacher, my English teacher, was talking to me about he, him having some tools from his dad passed away. Rest in peace. I don't know your name, but may God be with you. I'm not really religious, but, you know. Hopefully he's resting in peace way up there. <laughs> But is talked to me and that he had a welder to give me, and so the plan was I was gonna probably get in the middle of this week, and last Friday he's like I got quick I got a surprise for you on, on Monday, so lo and behold this is he shows up today, take this welding jacket off of it, we got us a stick welder, it's a Canox. Canadian. Can this zoom? No, not really. Oh, there we go. Oxygen Limited, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Sparkler. Constant current AC DC. Arc welder power source model C sparker. Sparkler AC DC style JF86000 or whatever. So, it's a stick welder. Let me move this forward. Okay. And so this is the size of it. It's not that big. It's, um, it's on a welding cart, homemade welding cart that the teacher's father did. I thank my teacher so much for giving this to me. We'll just call him Mr. J for privacy. Um, I don't know how to show my appreciation. The only way I can think of is to use it. So. To adjust the heat of that, it's you crank it. Just wait. As you can see, it's going down. You can adjust it on off, and that's about all I know what it does. But <laughs> it's a welding rod that's on it. So I think you go like this and squeeze it and pull it out, but it's kind of stuck in there, so it's going to take some pliering. Um, he also, I have a whole milk crate full of welding rods. As you can see, they say, I don't, I'm about to look this up. What is it? 7018, so I think that means, uh, I'm pretty sure that goes in coherence. No, maybe with that? No, I thought it would go with that. But there's some fatter ones, and there's also, down there, some small ones. But get those out. Can't really read those ones, but big and small, I think weighs a ton, I'll tell you that. And on top of that, I also got a handy-dandy welding jacket of his father's. Used of course because dad used it. Um, got his welding gloves, decent pair of welding gloves. Yikes, I haven't had this stuff for two hours and I'm treating it, disrespecting it. Got the gloves, decent gloves. Use my we'll see how my good my other gloves do. Two welding helmets, decent little flip helmets. Used, but st they still seem workable. Let's see if I can flip this open. Yeah, seems workable enough. Screen in there. There's one helmet. There's two. Really appreciate them. Um, I really like this cart. I and again, I still don't know how to show how much I um, appreciate this. This welding cart's pretty spiffy. It's like he modified a dolly. Um, sorry, his well beads. He's got like. Zoom out. That's a pretty damn sexy well bead. I can't even do that good with a MIG, gas MIG at that. It's a 220. It's got that kind of outlet on it. I'm gonna have to get a cord for it. And this ground clamp that I can barely freaking squeeze. I mean, I'm just weak. But still. I might just make a table so I just clamp it to the table, or I might just put a different ground clamp on it. But that's the
Dick Walder, or Ark Walder. I, I'm so happy for this. Um, I've always wanted to learn how to stick weld. So, that's pretty much it. Next couple of days, when I start stick welding, I'll show you guys. But that's what's happening tonight, and we go in and go do my, do homework, probably. Um, check my YouTube. Uh, thanks guys, bye.